Welcome to the 100 year tea shop. Now I don't know if that tea shop is 100 years old or if it's got a 100 year old tradition, but that's what it is. Today we took a little trip to a uh, tea shop. I was recommended uh, by one of my students and I was told that there are only three of those or four in the entire country. It's a very special place apparently. Um, and I came to check it out. I was sporting the sunglasses not because of, you know, this whole YouTuber sunglass thing, but because it's really bright outside and sunny. But this place is nice, check it out. Sweating bullets in the city running back to the car and up here in the mountains it's pretty chilly wow what a difference the wind is up too so I hope it, the microphone doesn't pick it up too much This looks like a very nice place. Walking through the main gate, front yard is basically a nice little garden. Really nice waterfall, you can hear that, right behind me right here. The waterfall, a giant bonsai-like tree. That guy looks comfy. quite marvelous. It's pretty big. Hey, come on. Let's go inside. Would you like to sit on the ground or sit at a table? Table? There's, yeah. The menu consists of, what's this? This. Uh, 100 year oh, tea. Yeah. Oh. This is just uh, for Pomegranate tea and... Uh, like Dechu, Chadechu is... Uh, yeah. Dechu, I think, is a kind of fig. You know, I forget it just like uh, Yeah, they're figs. What's sogru? Sogru. Pomegranate. Pomegranate? Sansuyu? A Korean some mountain. Mountain. Blueberry? Mountain blueberry. Raspberry. I don't know. Raspberry? Mm. <laughs> Other tea. Mm. So we're gonna get the This is like healthy. Hundred hundred year tea. Mm. We've decided to order the hundred year tea. It's very quiet here, there's only like another couple here, so I'm trying not to disturb the I'm trying not to disturb the peace by reporting too loudly. 
or we're going to get a couple of those hundred year old teas. I don't know if they're hundred years old or they're going to make us live to there's a hundred years. This name is just hundred years tea, but there's like a medical, Korean medical herb. So it's an know. herbal tea? Yes. Herbal Korean tea. medical herb tea. Medical herb. That's what herbs are. Yes. They're made a type of medicine. Do you want to order it? Yeah. Maybe you don't like this. But I'll, I'll get to live to be a hundred. It's bitter and kind of a little, I guess, it's sweet. And yeah, I but it's a staple of this place, so that's what we're getting. Bitter and healthy. <laughs> if it doesn't kill you, it makes you stronger, they say. This tea shop is built out of just one giant warehouse and it's supported by these massive wooden beams crisscrossing the, the place and it's decorated with like these rustic looking chairs and tables with a bunch of weird decor inside. Another frog. Jigyung just asked, what if this gives you diarrhea? <laughs> it's true. It smells good. Mm -hmm. Let's give it a go. Very herbally, the price of a of a meal in a restaurant. I feel like just uh, taking medicine. Yeah, it's very herby. Even the color of it is very black. I feel like this. This is like a um, goat, some goat. Yes, goat drinking. Do you know that in Korean? Some someone just drinking with goat drinking. Goat. What's a goat drink? Goat milk? Not milk. Like uh, healthy, some drinking. You know that. Healthy drink mm -hmm. made from a goat. Yes, kind of same taste. Of How do you make a drink out of a goat? I didn't make it. <laughs> Never heard of that. I will just enjoy this beer. Yeah, and drink your herbal tea because it's healthy for you. No, I'm, I can't enjoy this. Well, then you won't live, get to live as long as I will, to a hundred years. You don't believe this tea is going to make you live to a hundred years? <laughs> no. Not this. Oh, you without faith. Have you noticed how chilly it is outside? How much colder it is here? Maybe just colder than Ulsan. Mm -hmm. It's a lot colder. Yeah. The wind is really cold. Because it's nearby mountain. Mm -hmm. Can you see the mountain? The Tuam mountain? Tuam. <laughs> Tuam. You know, nobody gets your Korean jokes. I know that. <laughs> what? You're addressing the wrong audience. Well, there may be some people out there. I wonder how many Koreans are actually watching this channel. <laughs> there are some. My students are watching. Oh my god. Say hello. Hello, <laughs> Can we interview the owner? No. Does he speak Korean? I mean English? <laughs> Does he speak English? How do I know that? It's not entirely bitter. It's got like a tanginess to it. Tangy. It's a little sweet, a little bitter, and it leaves an aftertaste in your mouth when you drink it. I wonder if the sweetness is natural or if it's added sugar or some kind of other. Just Could be dechu, sugar. right? Could be dechu. I do remember eating goat cheese in Turkey. Turkey has an interesting tradition. They take the skin of a goat and then they fill it up with processed, I guess, goat's milk um, and cheese and just let it, and then sew it up and just mm. let it ferment like that. They let the goat cheese age inside uh, the goat skin, the goat hide. You can see it if you're in Istanbul and you walk around the market. Um, when, you, when you enter the, 
cheese section. The cheese is great, but there will definitely be, most likely will be a big goat hide filled with cheese inside. It's really bizarre, but really good cheese. Do you know the turkey? I do. I do. You miss Sonar? I do. I talk to Sonar sometimes. They got two kids. Sonar's hair, like he looks like a. It changes to white now. Aged man, yeah, it's completely yeah. white. I can already feel it working. <laughs> You're on a hiding place. <laughs> <laughs> Teas and it's time to go. Time presses forward. We gotta get down and put some food in our bellies. It's a very nice place. Uh, it's a short drive away from Gyeongju, so if you get a chance to get out here, I highly recommend it. Uh, there is a website. It's I will post it below the video, but you can see it in the video as well. It's uh, www. Hundred something kr something. I'll post it below the video, but I would highly recommend you, for anybody who can, to get out here and just check it out. It's very peaceful. You too can have some tea for the price of a meal at a restaurant, which is where we're gonna go next, because time is in, in short supply and we need to use it wisely, and our bellies are growling. Come on! Onwards. Remember to like, subscribe, leave a comment in the section below and I'll see you on Friday. Ta-da!